Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and this is the May energy update and reading. And I'm just going to be sharing a message from the Akash, as well as just a little two-card reading for this month. And, but you know, really talking about the energies of this month and beyond, because I think this is a month where we're kind of seeding some energy in. And then I also have a painting that I'm working on I wanted to give you a sneak preview on and a big announcement. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that now and um, click that bell button that'll get you kind of notifications. Um, all right, so let's start with just kind of the basic energies and what I'm getting when I tune into the Akashic Records um, for this time. And it feels to me like First of all, what I'm feeling is like that there are certain things now that are being revealed and specifically dark, quote unquote, dark masters. Okay. And so these are the people that are kind of like the controllers of the anti-life agenda. Um, this is kind of like the big collective resistance and the leaders of that. Um, resistance to actual ascension. Okay, and so what I'm feeling and kind of a little bit experiencing is that these are individuals, whether it's in spirit or in flesh and blood, who have, they operate, they're, they're able to operate the way they are because they operate sight unseen, right? So they're the ones that pull the strings, you know, behind the puppets. And what I'm noticing here in the field is that some some of these people, they're, they're, there's like cracks in their windshields, right? They're, um, they're, they're starting to be revealed and we're starting to get glimpses of these, you know, who these are. So I think there's some people out there that are starting to get psychic glimpses of some of these. So just kind of be aware of that and uh, just be aware that it's like you don't have to go in if you do start getting glimpses is, is <laughs> like it, you don't even have to engage with these people but just the the the, the fact of their being you know being able to see them it just shows that the uh, the power that's been kind of keeping them afloat is starting to crumble. Um, all right, so let me share the Akashic message around this uh, this month, May 2021. And the feeling I'm getting is that we are in this, <sighs> this isn't the message yet, but the, the feeling I'm getting is that we're sort of in a holding period right now where, um, you know, foundations are being set for whatever actions are going to happen later in the year. Okay, and that is what I feel like this message addresses some of the things that we can do right now to prepare for whatever the heck <laughs> the universe is going to throw at us or, you know, the powers that be are going to throw at us next. All right, so starting the transmission here, um, there have been enough failures. There have been enough failures. There have been worlds where whose people chose not to ascend. There are those on your planet who are choosing not to ascend. There is little to learn from that path. Those lessons have already been learned. And here I think they're speaking to those certain of us who have kind of been through those before in this and other lifetimes. So there's, those lessons have already been learned. We know where it goes. That, that story is boring, redundant, stale. The nature of consciousness is growth. On this planet, the potential for growth, for learning and expansion is far greater now than through the descending cycle. So we're in an ascending cycle right now on this planet. The pendulum has swung towards the light. This is in accordance with the great cycles of nature and natural, physical, and universal law. Okay, you can't fight nature. Nature wins every time. Even though it seems like, you know, we might be beating down nature. Nature's, you know, we are part of nature. You can't fight it and we're on an ascending cycle right now. Just as sometimes there are snowstorms in, in April, or even May or June in some parts, things may appear to regress. And remember, I think this is talking about the next coming few months. But even so, you continue to plant your seeds to shelter and nurture your tender plants in the certain knowledge that the time for growth is here. Okay, so this is all about faith, right? Um, if you get a little snow in April, at least around here, you know, you don't, you don't call it quits. It's like, okay, it's just a little snow. It'll go away. It's important at this time. 
and this is key, it's important at this time to call in your angels and galactic allies. And I'm going to be sharing uh, more about this in an upcoming video. You are not alone in this. Make those connections now. Reinforce those relationships. Cultivate connections of all kinds. Connections to your soul brothers and sisters here in flesh and blood, online and in spirit. Feel those connections. Feel yourself connected. Isolation is a tactic often used by the forces of anti-life. Recognize this and see it for what it is. It's a diversionary tactic meant to disempower. But really, the, you know, we are all connected. You are a powerful being of light. You are always connected. If ever you feel alone, plug into the light grid. It is always available for a recharge. Feel the presence of multitudes of others all plugged into that ascension grid. You might just want to take a moment now and just close your eyes and just feel into it. All your soul brothers and sisters on this planet, all around this planet, including the trees, the plants, you know, your, your angelic allies, all those, okay? Feel them, just feel the presence and feel how plugged in you can be to this light grid. It's there. It's tangible. Okay? Um, all you have to do is to put your consciousness there and breathe it in. Breathe in the energy of light. Let it flow through you, refresh and invigorate you. In the times to come, there will be attempts to isolate you, to shut down the light, but know that the light on this planet cannot be ex extinguished. Have the courage and faith to see through such attempts and that the light and the connection are always there and available to you no matter how dark the outer world may appear. Okay, and uh, then finally the last thing that's coming in for me to share with you is that, that we do have free will choice. A lot of this revolves around free will choice and a lot of the the kind of, even the 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 infrastructures or the systems that have been built that have ended up kind of enslaving people have been built around people opting in. Okay. Remember that, that it's, it's, that you're always going to be given a choice. Even if you don't think you have a choice, you do, right? So you can always take a stand for yourself if you feel like there's something that's not right. And it's always going to want to present itself like there's no other option, like you don't have a choice you do have a choice, okay? So, and even if you don't know what to do, you can't see what the other choice is. If you know that the one choice that you're being given or the two choices are just not acceptable, um, if you can just feel into that and just be like, I do not choose this. I, I choose life. I choose light. I choose life. I choose light. And you can feel into if, a, if an option is not in alignment with light and life, you can feel it. You can feel that energy. So this is why it's so important to feel things, okay? Um, even if you can't see a viable option, just know that it's there. Keep plugging into the light grid and you'll start seeing those options, you know, that, that you weren't even aware of starting to open up. All right, so I'm going to share one animal card and one angel card for this month, supporting energies for the month of May 2021, asking spirit to help to bring the right message forward at this time. Okay, oh, this is a beautiful card to come up. This is Wild Goose. Okay, this is from my Spirit Animal Awareness deck. And um, Wild Goose is one that hasn't come up for a long time, but I think it is so appropriate for this particular message. A Wild Goose is all about perseverance right? It's going the long haul. It's about just really kind of, and sometimes it's like going against the wind, right? But really keeping your mind on the goal and knowing that we're going somewhere great. We're going somewhere like the geese are going to go in this time in the spring. They're going up north to breed, right? They're going up to to proliferate and this is the abundance of life right that's that's coming up in, at this time um so they are about going in for the long haul for you know preparing for that long journey um for being in the long journey and also teamwork because they really um they draft each other right and so not it's a little easier for them to move in teams right um so they take turns cutting the wind and then, you know, when they get tired, they kind of fall off and, and let 
themselves ride on the draft from the other ones. So each of us is going to have times in the coming months where we're feeling strong. And that's a time where, you know, you can just get out there and shine. And then times where you're going to feel just wiped. <laughs> and that's the time to be allow others to just kind of take the lead, allow others to carry a little bit of that weight because we're all in this together. And then I'm going to pull, this is a deck I haven't used for a long time. This is the old Doreen Virtue uh, Archangel Michael deck. And um, in, I'm, I'm not going to make any comment on, on, on that except that I think it is a beautiful deck. And um, let's see what Michael's got to bring forward for us. Archangel Michael, believe and trust. And I think this is a beautiful card for this. Now, um, little message, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. I think that's key. Replace fear with faith and trust. There is so much out there that wants to stir up fears, right? Um, faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Okay, so that, you know, you, you are a sovereign being. You do have that free will choice. And when we start to exercise our sovereignty, um, you know, th that's when things start to change for a, a real, in a real beautiful way, right? Um, we don't have to give up our humanity, our rights as humans, and, you know, it, feel into it again, right? Anytime you feel like you're being asked to do something that doesn't feel right, feel into it. Is there fear behind it? There probably is. All right, so I promised that I would uh, share uh, the painting I have in progress and um, also a big announcement. So here's the painting, this little frog spirit. And I'll tell this, uh, I, I, I'm figuring I'm probably going to finish this within a couple days. I'll be sharing this soon because I'm sure this will have a message as well. I haven't really uh, started to dialogue with this little guy. Um, but this, I, I can tell you right away with its frog and the eggs, it is all about abundance and life. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then my big announcement is that... Um, this is talking about community and it's something that I've been feel, feeling kind of prompted to for quite a while is to start a little community. I'm looking at Patreon, starting a Patreon and starting some kind of a weekly where, where you know, whoever wants to join me can kind of get together for uh, just a weekly Zoom, maybe an open studio or, you know, whatever you want. Uh, to ask question and answer whatever meditations it might be different every week but I think there will be some open studio time in there we can paint together and and just kind of create together because I think that creates a beautiful energy field when people get together to create and and it doesn't even have to be you know, like we'll probably each be doing our own work, but together we're also going to be creating an energy field. So um, if you're interested in that, I would love to hear in the comments below. Um, I may not get to actually uh, creating that yet, um, but if, if it's something that sounds great to you, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications, and I will be sharing more about you know, when I, when I uh, start this and how to join uh, in the pretty near future. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy this beautiful, I hopefully you're having beautiful weather. <laughs> Mine's still a little cold, but uh, it's getting there. And um, no matter where you are in the world, uh, enjoy nature this week and this month. And uh, we'll catch you again soon.